Well, I did clean this up. This old 16mm spec toe that I managed to get working. And it's tied it up very nicely. Now you're right, remember that little rat's nest of wiring I had down here while I was going to hard wire the thing in? Well, unlikely as it may be, because bulging plugs tend to be expensive with, I guess you can find them on eBay, but they do tend to be expensive. Um, I went looking for one, well, I went looking for electrical fittings a few days ago in Robert's Rummage Junk Shop in Hastings that I go into three or four times a week found a bulging plug is it bulging or bulging? bulging I think 25 pence so there we are so that goes to this joiner which goes to the cheap Chinese or one of the cheap Chinese speed controllers that I've already got set up on this board for use with various projectors and that goes to the mains. So uh, I will now demonstrate the speed control. Now you'll remember I said I was going to put an LED light unit in there. Well, that's still the eventual intention. However, um, I did actually manage to come across an original light bulb, and that was because I bought a standard eight, as you can see, different sprockets. Uh, standard eight Specto as a donor for various future projects. I need the motor, various other parts, um, and it had the bulb in it. So we've now got a lamp, temporarily at least, uh, for this 16mm machine. And um, the lamp works, as you can see. So I think we'll just have a look at a bit of film on the screen. Okay, well lots of ambient light in here. Well it's working but there's very definitely uh, a shutter sink problem, there's a lot of uh, ghosting, so we need to take a look at that. It's quite painful, definitely a problem there. Well, there certainly was a problem. Just as the film was running, I was about to switch it off. There was a huge bang, so obviously some kind of short inside. Uh, maybe that horrible resistance unit. So, back to the drawing board. <laughs> See what happens next. Well, very strange. I just plugged it back in to see whether the motor would in fact respond to the switch, which it did. And also, the light's still coming on. And yet there was a huge electrical bang, which didn't actually trip the main circuit. So maybe it was a physical thing rather than electrical. Hmm. Get in there and have a look. Okay, well that little scare was, I think, some, something to do with the um, metal sprung belt on the feed ball causing real problems. And um, let's have a look at that. I've taken it off at the moment, so the feed ball. Well, I would have thought it should have had a clutch position, but that's not working, if it does have. And
as you can see it is projecting a film let's just try the uh, the framing device works but there is there is a horrendous um, ghosting so I need to get inside to find out why okay well this is the pulley that's directly connected to the claw mechanism and obviously synchronized there we can see the non-flick blade and there we can see the pull down blade cover blade and they're definitely out of sync with the claw so I can only think that on that collar in there, you can see that screw that I've got to start playing around with the shutter to get it in the right position, let's just hope that's all it is and uh, another clue that it's out of sync was that um, apart from the ghosting was that an awful lot of the light from that very bright bulb was being cut off because the cover blade was in position um, while the film was actually static, while the image was, the picture was static, so losing a lot of light there. And I'll just loosen that screw. And the shutter does indeed move now. So hopefully I can wiggle that back into sync. Well, that was a rather strange shutter arrangement. And I think um, I think it's right now. So no ghosting um, after adjusting the shutter, but I think more by luck than judgment because it's a slightly odd shutter arrangement. Anyway. I think we've managed to do that. Now on this 8mm Specto and the film's coming off that sprung belt just gives a bit of tension. On this one when the film's coming off The sprung belt is resisting, which is what the big bang was when I was trying to project. So I need to have a look at the pulley inside and see what's going on there. In the meantime, just take the tension off, works perfectly fine without it. I've changed the position of, of this um, sprung belt um, so that it matches that of the 8mm projector, but it, it's still the same, and, and the reason is that this this pulley, or pulley on its shaft, whichever is the problem, is um, rock solid, it's not moving at all, which is no good. And I think I'd have to do a fair bit of dismantling to get in there, and I don't really fancy that. So, um, unless I can see an easy fix, basically, I won't be using this band for tensioning the feed, it doesn't usually need it and um, I don't need to rewind on this machine there was a, a as you might remember a serious quirk to do with rewinding it wasn't working which is probably part of the same problem so I'll have a 16mm film rewinder I don't need to rewind on the machine um, so I think effectively this machine is now suitable for use for my purposes <laughs>